is Laura from Doggy U, and I just got back from a four week long road trip. And today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite places that I stopped, which was Carbondale and Aspen, Colorado. We stayed in a lovely little log cabin, one bedroom uh, in Carbondale, and it was so dog friendly. I want to tell you all about it. So the first thing that we did after checking into our gorgeous uh, little cabin with views of the mountains was to try to find some hiking. So we went to the White River National Forest, but it was only open after May 1st to dogs. So we got there, it wasn't open to dogs. It was such a bummer, um, but it looks like a really awesome place to hike. Uh, presumably it's not open due to bighorn sheep. Um, so definitely go after May 1st to hike because it's gorgeous there. But we did find a little river that was outside of the uh, National Forest area that we could let the dogs swim around and play. And that was totally fun. So you're going to notice a theme in this trip. We didn't, we didn't understand what things would be open and what things would be closed in the winter. So there's some things that we were hoping to do that we didn't get to do. So some of the stuff I'm going to recommend you try out in the summer. Uh, but there's still plenty of do to do in the winter in Aspen and Carbondale. So after our little snafu with trying to hike the National Forest and just getting to play in the river, which was just as fun, uh, we decided to go to Uller Night, or Euler Night, not exactly sure how you say that, um, over in Aspen. Uh, this is not a dog friendly event, but what was really cool is we got to ride the gondola up to the top of the mountain. And during the summer, that gondola is dog friendly, which is really cool. And I can't wait to go back and try riding with the pups because there's a lot of hiking up there and it's just a gorgeous view and be a really fun experience for all of us. So after Euler night, we went to go hike the Maroon Bells in the morning and it turns out Maroon Bells were closed for the winter. Uh, so we could have hiked 13 miles to get into there, but we decided to find a different hike. So we drove into Aspen and we found this hike that was supposed to be up to some ice caves. Um, our pup uh, Pumbaa, who we were with, ended up getting a little too tired to make it all the way to the ice caves, but we still got to hike this closed road that had a bunch of dogs and we were able to have them drag in the long line or off leash and that was a ton of fun. Uh, one tip for that is bring some sunscreen. When there's snow, it bounces off uh, that snow. The sun bounces off the snow onto your face and then you turn into a lobster. So sunscreen is a must for you. Bring lots of water for the dogs too. Aspen and Carbondale are higher elevations, so the dogs were getting very thirsty very quickly, a lot more than when I was in Connecticut. Um, so it's important to bring lots of water for both of you. After hiking in the Aspen area, we went into Aspen, and this is where the dog friendliness really shines. There's so much to do with dogs there, and most places are dog friendly. Almost every restaurant has outdoor seating, so we chose one little restaurant to sit at, and there were maybe five other dogs there hanging out while everyone had lunch, and it was such a blast. It's so nice to be able to pick a restaurant and go there with your dog without any issue, and that's the case for most of the restaurants in Aspen, and then also in Carbondale. That night we went to Carbondale. It's a smaller town, but lots of great food and tons of places to eat with your dog. They even have this like cute little picnic area that you could get takeout and hang out with your dog if that particular restaurant you want didn't have outdoor seating for you guys. Another thing to note about Colorado in general is there are pickup stations for your dog's waste everywhere, and I love it. You don't find that in my home state of Connecticut. There's no excuse in Colorado not to pick up after your dog, though some people don't, but it's really convenient to have those poop bags around and also have those waste bins. So after spending an amazing weekend outside, we started heading home, but not before going to this gem of a hiking area. And you have to stop here if you're going up to Aspen. And that hiking spot is Grizzly Creek. It's right off the highway on the way back to towards Denver from Carbondale, and it's a rest stop. It has bathrooms, yay, since you're drinking all that water from being at elevation, and it's also just a lovely hiking trail right by a little river. So much fun for the dogs. This is truly a hidden gem. If you're going back towards Denver, you need to stop here with the dogs. We did a couple of miles right along the river, different terrain, not a particularly challenging hike, 
mostly flat but lots of river access so if it's hot the dogs have plenty of opportunities to play in the water and we just had so much fun there not too many people on the trail we were there on Easter Sunday so you know a little less traffic than usual but it was such a beautiful little trail very secluded and right off the highway it's a great place to stop if you're trying to beat the traffic out of Aspen you get up in the morning you pack up you leave and then you head to Grizzly Creek on the way out I highly recommend this really fun spot for you and your dogs. So that was our weekend, a little bit of a comedy of errors as far as not being able to go to the hiking we thought we were going to and not being able to see the moon bells, but that's okay. The moral of the story is there's tons to do in Carbondale and Aspen with your dog. And you don't need to necessarily hit those big spots because there's plenty of hiking, plenty of restaurants, plenty of entertainment that you and your dog can partake in. It was a really fun trip and I'm definitely heading back in the summer when everything's open to pups. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope that next time you're in Colorado, you consider taking a trip up to Carbondale and Aspen and hanging out with your pooch in a beautiful mountain location. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you have questions about where to eat, where to stay with your pup, comment below and I'll be able to answer those for you. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and travel with your pup.